Well, I think like any opening day, obviously we're looking forward to, to getting going tomorrow. Uh, really excited to see the weather is going to cooperate. Looks like it's going to be in the 60s Saturday and Sunday and uh, a fairly nice night tomorrow night on Friday, although a little cool. But uh, playing a really good opponent in St. Louis. Uh, they returned the bulk of their team, uh, a team that won 42 games last year, went to the South Carolina Regional. Uh, they returned the pitcher of the year in their league. They returned the hitter of the year in the league. So uh, looking forward to a, a very competitive weekend and uh, should, you know, both teams are obviously uh, ready to go. Yeah, you seem kind of anxious, if you will. Yeah, we are. I think that, uh, you know, for one, I think we feel very prepared. Obviously, that's where I think it's nice having some age on the team and uh, we feel good about our work, you know, going back to the fall of, uh, both our strength and conditioning and things we've done, also our preparation on the field with our fall work and early spring. So uh, I think as a coach, you, f you always feel a little better when you when you have some experience out there and you know that guys have been in, in the wars a little bit. So uh, I feel you know I feel like we're prepared to start the season now. The next journey you know starts tomorrow night. How how much do you still at this point want to be exploring things, whether that's you know. Uh, Sure. Closer by committee, things like that, or how much do you want to be ready to go? Yeah, you know, I think for us right now, I, I like to be as close uh, as we can, you know, ready to go. I, I, you know, I've never start ended the season the way I started, though. I mean, right. there's always going to be some changes along the way in a 56 game schedule, uh, but we're very comfortable with our starting lineup that we're going to start out with tomorrow. Uh, I think the one area, as you said, in the bullpen, I think we just got to put the pieces together. Uh, we feel like we have the pieces there. It's just where they're going to line up and where guys are going to slot in. But uh, I think the the numbers are, are more so than we've had in the past. So, so we have, you know, we feel good about 10, 12 guys on the mound, and and obviously we feel pretty good that we're too deep at most positions. And uh, as I said, we've got a little age, and some guys have put up some numbers, have a little track record now. I just wonder if you talk about how the, you settle on the rotation, just at least for this weekend. Yeah, you know, for this weekend, it's it's really just how guys have performed up, up to this point. Uh, I think, you know, Spencer up to this point has kind of earned the right to be the Friday night starter, then uh, followed by Justin Campaign and Ray Castilla. Uh, really like the way Tucker Hawley, uh, Nick Eicholtz, and some other guys are throwing the ball really well uh, right now, too. So, uh the advantage right now in your first two weekends of not having the Tuesday or Wednesday game, it really deepens your bullpen. So uh, some of your other starters will be slotted into bullpen roles, you know, for this first weekend. And really, we would like for as many guys to hit the mound, you know, even if it's for an inning, you know, this week to, you know, especially those young guys just get their feet wet, uh, but also start working on solidifying some of those roles. What would be the max that you would go with the starting pitcher this week? Right now, you know, starters are going to go uh, probably right in that 75 pitch range, uh, and uh, hopefully that'll you know take us you know through the sixth inning or so, and then we'll kind of piece it together from there. Uh, then uh, and and really you know the closing situation. I think right now if we get into a closing spot, then uh, the two guys right now would be Thomas Burroughs and, and Kyle Overstreet. You know that we would we would go with. And obviously Burroughs is the guy that can throw multiple innings. Uh, Overstreet is the guy we really want to limit him to one inning uh, in a winning type situation. Who would be the second baseman in that? Danny Kuchgen, uh would come over and, and play second base. And uh, we also have Stephen Cole as well. But uh, Danny's been a guy that's played all three positions for us. He'll also, he's going to be our shorter at third base on, on uh, Saturday. And uh, so, but he's comfortable in all three spots. Any injuries? No, we're we're uh, we're very healthy right now. Uh, actually, the one right now, Mike Osipak, uh we're waiting. He he will resume his throwing program again next week, uh, and then roughly in about a week from there is when he'll hit the mound again and start throwing. But real encouraged with him right now that uh, he's going to be healthy, ready to go, and here in about ten days. In terms of, I, mean, I know you said you're anxious, but I would imagine especially anxious to see this lineup get back out there. I know you feel like they're, 
can sort of do for a big Yeah, and, and we are. And I, I think that's an area that uh, we, we really feel like there's going to be a lot of improvements on the offensive side, uh, and particularly just from uh, we feel like we're much more physical than what we've been in the last few years. Uh, I think uh, obviously the home run numbers we feel like will go up, but also uh, just really our slugging percentage and, and doubles and uh, just more opportunities. Uh, you know, we've obviously hit more balls out of the park and more doubles than, uh, you know, this fall and early spring than we've hit in many years. So, uh, yeah, and really that's what I want to see with all that is just the guy, the comfort, uh, getting those guys in that comfort zone real quick and being able to play, you know, play in that relaxing environment that uh, where the talent's just beginning to take over.